Honda tests a new all-electric prototype, an update in the advancement in fuel cell technology for buses, and a 152 megawatt wind farm project ready to go online in Oklahoma. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello, and welcome to your Daily Energy Report for Monday, December the 27th. I'm Ben Lack, Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you the latest daily energy news for the beginning of the last week of the year. Leading off, Honda's new plug-in hybrid, the Accord Demonstrator, is expected to launch in 2013. The car can take short, frequent trips in all electric modes. The hybrid system uses a two-motor system that shifts between three modes for maximum efficiency. The first of these is an all-electric mode, which uses a 6th kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery and a 120-kilowatt electric motor. This mode can go up to 15 miles of in-city driving, while at a speed of up to 62 miles per hour. Recharging the battery takes up to 4 hours on a 120-volt outlet. Ballard Power Systems has announced the company's intention to work with four system integrators to advance fuel cell commercialization for buses. The company will participate in four Federal Transit Administration projects to develop fuel cell buses under the National Fuel Cell Bus Program. The federally funded program aims to reduce the cost of fuel cell buses so that there is a greater demand for them. One of their modules will produce 150 kilowatts of power and the other three will produce 75 kilowatts. Transit buses in Alabama, Illinois, Ohio, and South Carolina will then be fitted with the zero-emission fuel cells. And finally, CPV Renewable Energy Company has announced the completion of construction and testing of the Keenan 2 wind farm in Oklahoma. The 152-megawatt project is now capable of delivering renewable energy for the electric grid. CPV sold the first Keenan wind farm to Oklahoma Gas and Electric, and the second farm has entered a 20-year power purchase agreement with the same utility. Keenan 2 will feature 66 Siemens wind turbines, each capable of producing 2.3 megawatts of wind power. The electricity produced is expected to power 45,000 average Oklahoma homes. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out tomorrow's Daily Energy Report. This is Ben Lack, signing off.